Also, an Ascension Parish, an infant was picked up from daycare and then brought to the doctor with a head injury. Turns out that baby had a fractured skull. Tonight, the state's investigating after the daycare blamed the parent who dropped him off, but the parents blaming the daycare. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto talked to all sides today. Little Dove's daycare in Gonzales is under the microscope tonight after a parent alleges their child was injured there. The daycare initially said they had video to prove nothing happened while the child was in their care. Tonight, the daycare tells us that video does not exist and referred all questions to their lawyer. Your Infant Caden O'Brien loves to smile. He's the light of his mother, Melody Bell's life. He was laughing, cooing, doing what regular seven month olds do. Weeks ago, her ex boyfriend and the child's father picked up Caden from Little Dove's daycare off Highway 44 in Gonzales. When he got home, she says he immediately took the child to urgent care. He noticed the bump after noticing an egg on his head. There is a bump on his head. And first thing I asked was, okay, what happened? Well, I don't know what happened. Um, um, I picked him up and he was fine and got home. I noticed there was a bump. The next day, the child was brought back to daycare and Bell was told to come get him. I walk in and it's the, that's the first thing I seen was a big goose egg size bruise. His mother, Melody Bell, immediately took him to the hospital, where he was diagnosed with a skull fracture. Oh, he was dropped off like that, and when we noticed it, we immediately, Ms. Ms. Hall immediately came and told me, um, we don't know what happened, like, it, it didn't happen here, we have cameras. So she filed a restraining order against the child's father. When the court order came up in court, the daycare, which told her they had video, did not show up. They did not have any video, according to Bell and her lawyers, and broke state guidelines by not reporting this incident within 24 hours. That's when Bell says she realized her child's father had nothing to do with this, and the judge did not sign the restraining order. There was no video. My client was told that there was a video upon picking the child up on the date of the injury. When she asked for it, when I asked for it, I was told that it did not exist, which contradicts everything that they told to my client. The WBRZ investigative unit did some digging and found Little Dove's daycare has been cited 13 times over the past five years for not being in compliance with state regulations for daycares. Regardless of whether they believe it happened at their facility, because the child walked through their doors and they've set in motion by contacting a parent that hey, a child is hurt, they have that obligation. So it's very concerning that they didn't understand the rules. They are still doing an investigation. Tonight, Bell says she wants to see the state take action against the facility. It would have to happen at the daycare. But she's already pulled Caden out of there. I am very hurt. I am very disappointed and I am very upset and I want answers. I want to know what happened to my son. I spoke to the administrator at Little Dove's daycare. He referred all questions to their lawyer. We reached out to their lawyer, and a woman who picked up the phone said they had no comment. For the investigative unit, I'm Chris Nakamoto. The Department of Education said that it has done an inspection and is now reviewing this incident. And they've also referred the situation over to DCFS.